All right, so you already have an idea, hopefully, if you saw the video on how to make a good ask and what the ask is, you already got some idea of what you really want to do and what you really want to ask for. But let me make sure you're thinking about it in a holistic perspective. Sure, it's really easy to ask for your next client. Hopefully you have a hit list or a target list of people you're going through and you know what that looks like. But are you thinking about strategic partners? Because those could introduce you to a lot more new clients. Are you thinking about centers of influence? Are you thinking about mentors? Are you thinking about a new employment opportunity? Maybe you're thinking about hiring someone new. Maybe you're looking to connect with some thought leaders in your space so you can learn some new tricks. Maybe you don't even want to connect with them. Maybe you just want to follow along on their social media. Influential authors. What's the best book you've read on how to save money on taxes? Whatever the case may be, there are so many different things that you can ask for that we really want to be clear about it. And every once in a while, I tell people, sneak in a secondary ask, right? Tell them the ideal client you're looking to meet, but something you're looking to learn, an event you might want to attend. Listen, avid networkers know about other networking events that are going on in your area, and you could go and make new connections. So ask about that. Ask about if they've met anybody cool recently. Not that we're anybody's looking for more friends, but you can never have too many, right? So there are so many things outside of just this is my ideal client. I want you to really think about what else is going to help you and your business grow. And then follow the process and ask for it. All right, go out and kick some ass, my friends.